I just also have to say I'm delighted to see one more person there in that fast polling unit and that's yeah they were not cut yeah they were not cut I mean it's just such a crazy story you know in one year I know because we were at KKR that year plays the under 19 world cup does really well 2010 January April 2010 gets some wickets in the IPL does really well December he's on a, he's played one two first class games he's not he's on playing at the centurion and then he doesn't get a wicket you know it was a tremendous performance by south africa and he doesn't get another red ball opportunity and he's one of the players in that list of players who've just played one test match for india but is still playing actively 12 years later if he gets a chance and he plays it will be a story and a half and i can tell you he's been a stand out performer for saurashtra not just in white ball cricket but the amount of red ball cricket that saurashtra how well saurashtra has done the ranji trophy if you track it in the last 4 5 years they won a championship they've reached two finals they're a phenomenal side and a large part of it is and it's important for people like jayadev not to do well and the reason i say that even more is because it's important for people to feel rewarded for domestic performances otherwise domestic performances count for nothing if you keep playing ranji trophy scoring thousands of runs and nobody even considers you then you feel what's the point of it unless i play the ipl nobody even notices me and i am so happy that jayadev not cut has made it yeah and he's backed it up with the numbers uh, 1998 99 dot ganesh got 62 wickets in a single ranji season and in 2019 20 uh, he jayadev not cut broke that record with 67 wickets so again as joy said dk we talk about the ipl being a feeder we talk about international performances today ishan kishan got a one chance and he he scored those runs but to actually have a bulk of wickets and have that that wealth of experience and then get the opportunity it's a great story uh an absolutely heartwarming story i think uh, joy hit the nail on the head um, he is probably the most deserving fast bowler from indian domestic cricket in the last couple of years for sure i think uh, he plays in a state where obviously we know how a rajkot wicket is is literally <laughs> as flat as it can get but to get the number of wickets that he's done led the team so well it is so good i think you know there has been a lot of uh, talk about the selectors and the kind of selections made but this one is highly justified they could have easily gone on to a navdeep saini or a mukesh kumar who's just done well recently for india a against the bangladesh a but rewarding domestic performance look i think he might not play this series uh, you know to be very honest i think there is umesh yadav there is obviously <clears throat> shardul they could they, there's a good chance that he might not end up playing this series but that's okay I think the fact that he's rewarded, he's been given those whites to represent Team Absolutely. India and be part of the team matters the most. It could well be that you know coming in the Australia series as well, he might not find a place in the team because of Bumrah coming back or Shami coming back. It could very well be that we probably move on. But just the fact that he's been given this opportunity and in case he does play in the eleven, I wish him all the best to do well. I think he's got the skills. He's done really well in domestic cricket. and the conditions will be a little different to rajkot but the one consistent part is it will definitely be in favor of batters so he's he will be have some has the experience for sure and also abhimanyu ishwaran i think he's been around the circuit for some time now done really well deservingly gets this opportunity again might not play in the 11 because kl rahul and shubman gill for sure will open so might miss out on the opportunity but i can promise you that he is another guy who has been constantly banging at the door been a we are a very good servant for bengal in domestic cricket for the last 4 5 years now and rightly got the opportunity you know his dad has been someone who has a fantastic ground in dehradun and you know fond memories of him going there but that kid is somebody who's worked so hard i've practiced with him i have uh, you know seen how hard he works on the whole as a player and he is somebody who's uh, you know deservedly got this opportunity i wish both of them the very good luck and and most importantly credit to the selectors for you know giving a lot of time to these kind of performances that happen in domestic cricket because sometimes it can go unnoticed but it's good to see them being noticed